Hi, my name is Liz. I'm going to show you how to ombre dye ostrich feather plumes using Dharma Trading's acid dye, Caribbean blue, and fluorescent fuchsia. <laughs> For dyeing 24 25 inch ostrich feathers, I pre-dissolved one teaspoon of dye mixed with one tablespoon of citric acid in hot water. I then mix citric acid with water in a spray bottle to spray on the feathers during the ombre process. I mixed a large amount of cornstarch with water for the after soak and a small amount of Dawn Gist soap for the pre-soak. The pre-soak helps remove any oils and the after soak helps floof out the barbs during the drying process. Make sure the temperature reaches around 180 degrees, then mix in your pre-dissolved dyes. You will want to test the shade of the colors with either a paper towel, silk, or a smaller feather. You can add in more dye for a darker shade or let the feather sit in the bath longer. We recommend four minutes max. Testing is important because the process will damage the feather and you don't want to have to over dye. I'm gonna try to measure. Let's see this to about here. And this is where I want my first dip dye to be. I'm just gonna put it in. I'm just gonna go like this. I pull the barbs back before I dip dye to make sure it dies straight across. Gently agitate the feather in the fuchsia for around three minutes, keeping it moving so no hard lines form. And then we will get that beautiful soft fade. Gently squeeze out the excess dye. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna flip it. So I wanna over dye that part. Once again, I pull the barbs back to make sure the fade happens straight across. I use my citric solution spray to help the dye spread into a soft fade. Gently agitate in the Caribbean blue for two minutes and then rinse in cold water. I then soak the feather in the cornstarch solution for five to 10 minutes. You don't have to agitate the whole time. You can leave it and dye another feather. Gently squeeze out the excess solution and pat dry or wrap in some newsprint. The more liquid you get out, the better. I gently pull the barbs away from the stem using my fingers and then blow dry on a low setting. Yeah, so it's more like purple and blue and then turquoise, but that's fine. As you can see, there's a little bit of purple, but not too much. So maybe if you're looking for more purple in the middle, don't let it sit in the turquoise bath as long. Because I didn't plan it. This is Liz from Dharma Trading, and this has been your ombre dye ostrich feather dye tutorial.